Hi everyone, welcome to Integral Calculus. Today we explore lesson 5.1, area and distance. Number one, intro. Example one, a bike has a constant velocity of 10 meter per second. Find the distance it travels after four seconds. We know distance is rate time time. The rate is constant, 10, the time is four. So we have 40 meter. And if we sketch out the velocity and the time is T is for time, V of T is the velocity. Velocity 10 meter per second is the straight line. Time T equal four. As you see, this this area here. The area here is forty. This then is the same as area under the curve. Pretty cool, huh? Let's move on to the second example. A bike accelerates from stock to after four seconds. The velocity after each second recorded below. Times in second. Velocity in meter per second. And we want to estimate the distance the bike travels after four seconds. Look at the data and you will see that uh, four is the same as two square, nine is three square, six is four square. So it will let T to be the time, then the velocity is Vt equal T square for T in the interval from zero to four. That is just a parabola. We can sketch the parabola. And from example number one, it will sketch out the parabola. We will see that the area below this parabola is the distance area is distance we cannot find the area right away because there's not a rectangle. However, we can use rectangle to estimate the area. So we can draw a bunch of rectangle up equal width. If I begin from the left point, this would be my first rectangle here. And this would be my second rectangle third rectangle, fourth rectangle, because we begin from the left, it is also called the left sum. There are four rectangle, notation is L sub four. And the left sum here is the sum of these four rectangle. We have a area of the first rectangle. The length is zero. The width is one. Area of the second rectangle. Length is one. Width is one. Area of third rectangle. Length is four. Width is one and the fourth rectangle. Length is nine, width is one. Add them up, we have 14. That is one estimation. Another estimation we can do is, instead of using the 
left thumb that is we use the point on the left side we begin with the point on the right side so we begin with this point and we're gonna draw a rectangle now begin with the point next to it get another rectangle get another one and another one see we have four rectangles Uh, use the point on the right side. So let's call it the right sum. And because we used four rectangle, notation is also four. Similarly, it's going to be the length time width. Right? One time one plus four time one plus nine time one plus ten time one. And that get us 30. If you take a look at the left sum, you will see that the area of the rectangle is much smaller than the right sum because the rectangle in the left sum is below the curve and the rectangle in the right sum is above the curve. So in order to balance out the estimation, well, we can use the middle point. And that is call it the midpoint sum. So for the midpoint sum, I'm going to use the midpoint between 0 and 1. Sketch a rectangle between 1 and 2. And then you got to go up to the curve, sketch a rectangle. 2 and 3, another rectangle. 3 and 4 get the last rectangle. One rectangle, two rectangle, three rectangles, four rectangles. Okay. Midpoint sum M. We have four rectangles, so M sub four. Here, the length, we're going to use the function because this function is Vt equal to t square from 0 to 4. Length is v of 1 over 2 times the width is 1. v 3 over 2 times 1 plus v 5 over 2 times 1 plus v 7 over 2 times 1. You have a 1 4 plus 9 4 plus 25 over 4 plus 49 over 4. That gives us 84 over 4, which is only one a much better estimation. Now let's us take a look at the left sum and the right sum. Do a little comparison. Number two, right sum versus left sum. The curve here is fx equal x square and we want to do the estimation of the area under the curve between x equal 0 and x equal 1. So if you take a look for n equal 10,
the right sum give us 0 0.385 and as we increase the number of rectangle the right sum is getting smaller and smaller because the area or the area above the curve is getting smaller and smaller as for the left sum we begin from n equal 10 and the left sum is 0 0.285 as we increase the number of rectangle you see that the left sum is increasing and then eventually the right sum will be exactly the same as the left sum as and get bigger and bigger how big can it get well if we let n limit n go to infinity of the right sum this would be exactly the same as limit and go to infinity of the left sum and this is the area pretty cool huh thank you for watching i hope you for the content useful please like and subscribe to help the channel growth i'll see you in the next video